Meet Tahoe. He is a friend. He's a handsome ball of shaggy elegance. You have to dress up if you're going out with it. It just makes me feel good. He's just a gorgeous creature. But he's not just a pretty face. Tahoe's smarter than a lot of people. <laughs> he's a very intelligent dog. That's a common trait of his breed. Tahoe is a golden doodle. That's a cross between a golden retriever and a standard poodle. They're very affectionate, very gentle dogs. They're also upbeat, versatile, and quite majestic. He's like the emperor. But he's a lot more than canine royalty. He's also a service dog for his handler, Steve, who's been disabled since a very early age. I contracted polio two weeks after my fourth birthday. And he's been in a wheelchair ever since. He likes to operate totally on his own. You could say my whole life has been an exercise and independence. And despite the challenges, Steve has been quite successful. Had aspirations to have a family. And, um, you know, I'm a great grandfather. I have eight grandchildren. And those are my uh, granddaughters from my son. And these are the other three grandchildren, my daughter's children. We aspire to do things and be independent. And I've always been able to do that. That aspiration for independence includes some notable professional accomplishments. I was a commercial sculptor. I worked for the toy industry. If you ever played with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you probably played with a lot of the ones that I worked on. He likes to do everything that he can do with the limited motor skills that he has, using his mind and his engineering, I guess. That's one of those hobby light aircrafts. I thought about figuring out a way to attach my wheelchair and fly one of those. I aspire to fly a lot of World War II stuff. I like collecting flight experiences. Ironically, it was a flying-related incident that sent Steve's life into a tailspin six years ago. Uh, I was mishandled in an airport. Well, I was in a transport chair, and for some reason, the person who was in charge of my removal from the plane hit the brake, and the wheels locked up, and I went forward and hit the ground. And broke his bones and his wrists. I fractured both of my femurs, and spent two and a half weeks in a hospital over there and had surgery. And it was a life changer. That's because Steve's polio weakened bones just couldn't recover. I was completely independent until that time. And now I have to depend on someone else as far as dressing myself and everything because my legs are just weak. And then that helps me get assembled in the morning and disassembled at night. But since my accident, I've also been unable to complete tasks on my own. Recognizing he needed help, Steve didn't have to go far to find it. I've been involved with uh, canine support teams, volunteering at the um, California Institution for Women. As part of their rehabilitation, inmates help train service dogs. So Steve saw Tahoe in action and knew he was a special dog. The first time I saw Tahoe, instantly thought, now that is a fine looking animal. He was just this big, fuzzy, amiable character, tail up and wagging and looking forward to his new adventure. And I thought that he could be my service dog. So Steve set the wheels in motion to acquire the clever pooch and take advantage of his advanced training. Tahoe's task training was pretty comprehensive. Tahoe. Whatever Steve needs. Get it. He's just always Look. on alert for that. Including Get turning it. on lights, Hold it. opening doors, Thank you, Tahoe. and picking up dropped items. But where Tahoe helps Steve the most Thank you, Tahoe. is with emotional support. Tahoe. Steve could be a homebody if it weren't for Tahoe. Let's go. In terms of manipulating a wheelchair in a restaurant that you are conspicuous in doing. Tahoe makes that conspicuousness very pleasant. He renewed my faith in myself. 
He's such an ambassador for service dogs. He's a real partner. We have bonded. How's Tahoe doing today? They're a set. They're twins from different mothers. Okay, I'm gonna make oh, you a salad. It's always a joy when they come in through that door. Please, carrots. Mr. Steve has such a positive attitude, and I think that's what Tahoe reflects. Having a service dog allows you to pursue your life the way you want to, and Tahoe has allowed me to continue to enjoy that process. He is my adventure partner. Hello. Hello there. Team Tahoe is just getting started as they plan to overcome their fears and collect a new flight experience. Tahoe and I are gonna go on a balloon ride. He makes me feel like as long as I'm with him, that's all we need. Let's go get it. Let's take it on. Let's Thank you, Tahoe. Venture forth. Good boy. Linda, however, has some concerns. The last trip off the ground was horrendous for him, so. Well, I guess anything could go wrong. Crash onto some power lines and you come down and he's sideways and he can't get himself right. The sounds that the burners make could put off Tahoe. And if he wants to get out of it, I'm going to respond accordingly. He goes out of his way to make me comfortable. And I would be a tremendous failure if I didn't do the same for him. It's the crack of dawn and Steve's a little jittery about their launch. I'm feeling a little nervous. He once had a zest for life. Even polio couldn't dampen. The burners don't seem to bother him too much. We'll see when the balloon starts to inflate. But he lost that passion after a flight-related incident dramatically reduced the use of his arms and legs. But with Tahoe's physical and emotional support, that zeal is coming back. He enjoys engaging life. It is an adventure, it's a journey, and we'll do it together. With Tahoe by his side, Steve now feels the sky's the limit. Let's go for a ride. There we go. Thank you guys, that was awesome. Thanks for joining us. And Tahoe, nice meeting you. It was great that he was there for this different experience and I'm sure there'll be more. Tahoe enables him to be the fullest human being he can be. Tahoe. The support that having a dog like Tahoe isn't necessarily something that can be seen. His job is to pay attention to me and to respond to my requests. He did that. I think uh, they probably couldn't live without each other. Oh, it was great. Real experience. Yeah, it was. Perfect dog.